Palestinians get ready. Dollywood reopens next week with a lot of new changes. Today we're getting a sneak peek behind the scenes. Six on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford showing us what changes visitors can expect. One of the biggest changes you'll notice before you even step foot into Dollywood, you need to get your temperature checked. So I'm going to get mine checked right now. And it must be under 100.4. Mine is 97.2. You'll also need to answer four questions with a no. All of the major players, Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, Cedar Fair, Six Flags, and Dollywood have all adopted this. It's one of the ways that we can help make sure that guests are visiting on grounds remain safe. Eugene Naughton, Vice President of Dollywood Park Operations, says temperature checks and masks for guests and employees would be the norm for theme parks across the world. At Dollywood, masks will need to be worn almost everywhere. When you're visiting a restroom, it's really difficult to socially distance inside of a restroom. So that is going to be a place that is going to require a mask. Social distancing will remain a priority. More than 6,000 signs posted across the park for a reminder to stay six feet apart and wash hands often. Guests will notice changes when getting on rides too. Fewer people allowed on the attraction at one time. And you'll see crews wipe down the seats more often, but not after every use because guests' hands should be relatively clean. So we're going to be providing hand sanitizer on the way into a ride and also on the way out of a ride. Another change guests will need to get used to, at least during the first phase of reopening, no more refillable drink stations. Keep in mind if one person in your vehicle has a high temperature, then the rest of the people in that vehicle can no longer go to Dollywood that day, but they will be able to reschedule with no penalties. Reporting at Dollywood, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. Well, hey, those were just some of the changes guests at Dollywood can expect beginning Monday. To find out more about making reservations, what areas of the park will be closed, and where you can take your masks off, go to WATE.com.